Chica Bunny here. So today's video is a very special video because it's been years in the making. This is my unboxing and review video of the Moonlight Memory series Star Locket, specifically the gold one. Um, I can't even express what it feels like to own this finally. Um, I've been a fan of Sailor Moon for 17 years this year and I know I've at least wanted the Star Locket for at least a decade. Um, and after many years of trying to acquire one and outrageous prices, finally they have re-released them. So I'm very, very happy to own my own now, especially at a much more affordable price. So let's go ahead and unbox it. Okay, so here's the box that it was sent in. Um, it's very light. I don't know why I expected it to be slightly heavier, but um, I ordered from Begin Japan, which I've ordered stuff from them before, so they're really good to order from. The only thing that I did that I did not like was <laughs> kind of fault of my own. I chose uh, registered airmail for my shipping, and it says it takes about a week, but for me it took two weeks because once it got to America, they sent it kind of all over the country, and then they sent it back to the West Coast, and I was really scared that they were going to send it back to Japan, and then the next day it arrived here. So <laughs> um, if you really don't want to have to worry about where your package is going and how long it's going to take, I definitely recommend using EMS if you can and definitely next time I will be. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and open it. Sorry, you can't exactly see me opening it, but um, trying to do this without slicing a bunch of the papers that are in here. Uh, that's actually one thing that is kind of annoying trying to open these boxes is that they put this paper slip and you have to open that part first before you can get to the box. All right, so I got the box open, and we have lots of paper, which is very important to keep protected. Oh my god. Ah! Oh. It's here. So first impression of the box is it's absolutely gorgeous. Um, I really like that they used hot pink. This is very um, uh, kind of a, a tribute or an homage to the original packaging um, if you've seen that before from the 90s um, they've seen the moon on the front here starry sky or gal gold version uh, Bandai Sailor Moon 20th anniversary um, in the memory series um, I think the packaging on here is really really nice um, the only thing that is different I noticed about this one um, on it compared to the 90s version is that in the 90s version you have the window to see the star locket inside so as a collector you didn't have to take it out of the box to see the locket if you did not want to um, let's see here's the side Moonlight memory series the top um, this is really similar to how the 90s box had this here. I like how they have Princess Freddy on here as well. And it, that just all says pretty much the same stuff that was on the front. Um, let's see. The other side, I think that's the same side I showed you, but anyways. Oh, and then the bottom, um, has tuxedo mask, so there's that little thing. And then the back of the box there, um, Toei Gold Seal of Approval. <laughs> Um, alright, so let me figure out the best way to open this box without damaging it. Um, let's see, I'll have to slice the tape. Okay. Big moment of reveal. I waited so long for this. Ah, I'm freaking out. I don't know what to do. Just pull it. Oh, it's so pretty. It's so pretty. Okay, so it's nicely wrapped in plastic here. Um, well, plastic within plastic, essentially. Um, oh, here's the chain. So, and it also comes with a separate thing um, that contains the chain and instructions, it looks like. So, I will read that in a second. Let me figure out how to put this on. So, this actually shows you um, how to attach the chain and how to use the locket. So this is what the chain looks like. I'm not sure if my camera's focusing on it, but I hope so. Um, but it has these little um, gold covered, well, I don't know if they're, they're I think they're still um, metal, but they're like little beads. So the chain's decorative itself, which is really pretty. Um, and that's different from the 90s version. The 90s version just had straight chain. So I think this looks very nice and kind of dainty and very pretty. Um, you could actually end up using this for something else if you really wanted to. And now for the locket. 
So this is what it looks like. It's very, very shiny. You can see the camera in the reflection. <laughs> it's really, really pretty. Um, I do notice on here that it says Bandai 2014, which is kind of interesting considering it was released in 2015, um, but they were announced 2014. So this is really pretty. Um, I think I'm gonna go ahead and put the chain on real quick before I um, let it play. Alright, so now that I have the chain attached, um, I really like the fact that where the chain attaches through um, rotates 360 degrees, um, which is nice because um, that way it can move easy and it's not going to get stuck and um, flipped around or something like that. It'll work when you move. Um, so now the big reveal that I've waited my whole life to hear. Um, let's see. So turn. Okay, and now for the big reveal. so pretty um <laughs> I'm kind of speechless right now um I'm so happy to have this <laughs> uh, I'm going into cray baby mode um it sounds so pretty and hearing it first person rather than off a of video um you know it's just the only way I can describe what I'm feeling right now is it's magical um, and I really like how the melody quality sounds. Um, it is still sped up similar to the 90s version but I do believe it sounds slightly slower and um, I know that because I have a music box that plays the melody as well, um, you know when it's at towards the end of where when you wound it, um, the melody will slow down. So, um, similar to how it should sound, but I believe this just, I'm blown away. I really just, uh, I can't right now. <laughs> I, was, I just, I'm in such awe and I disbelief and just wow. Um, but I really think the size is very nice. I have really small hands, I'm a small person, um, but I think it's nice. It fits in my hands still. Um, it's really, you know, it, I think it's perfect size. Um, if you're gonna use it for cosplay, which I think I will at some point. Um, and I think it's just, this is such a beautiful item and I, I am so grateful and so happy to own it, finally. <laughs> um, if you're a Sailor Moon collector, um, if you don't already have a version of the Star Locket, I think these are great. Um, I know these were extremely limited and I felt so, so lucky to be able to get a pre-order and have mine not get cancelled because I know that's what happened to a lot of people. Um, so if you're able to get your hands on this and you really would like a Star Locket, I think this is wonderful. Um, I know the Proplica version is coming out in 2016, I think next year, um, and I think I might get that one as well, although there are some aesthetic differences, I'm not quite sure about the sound yet, um, but what I really like is on the inside, um, on this one specifically, um, the gem in the middle actually is a faceted gem, um, and if you watch, the moon does spin ever so slowly. And um, it's just, it's so beautiful. So, um, yeah, I just, <laughs> I, 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 I can't believe I, I own this. I just, <sighs> oh, I told myself don't cry in the tears, <laughs> but I just, uh, 
I'm so speechless, you guys. It's such a beautiful item. I really don't have anything negative to say about it, which I don't know how good of a reviewer that makes me or if that just means this is flawless, but um, it does look very nice. Um, the seams here on the edges where it's put together are fairly unnoticeable. I mean, you don't look at it and go, oh, seams everywhere. Um, one thing I am noticing as I'm touching this all around, it will show your fingerprints on here because that's just the way this is. Um, over time, um, I will see how the paint quality is. I'm hoping it's decent quality because I know some of the 90s toy versions that I have, like, have paint chips missing and things like that. So I'm hoping the paint quality on this is going to be good and that it's going to last a long time. Um, of course, I'm going to try and keep this in the packaging as much as possible because I want it to last and stay really nice. Um, yeah. <laughs> so thank you guys so much for watching my video. I hope this was informative and maybe entertaining to watch. Um, and if you ordered the uh, Moonlight Memories uh, Star Locket, what did you think about it? Um, I know that there were some people who ordered the pink one, and I thought about ordering the pink one, but what threw me off was that it has a gold lid, and I was just kind of like, eh, why, you know? But um, if it would have had a pink lid, I might have ordered one of those too. I really actually would like to get a second one of these specifically to keep in the box and not open just for collector purposes. Like, I'd like to have one to use for cosplay and take out and, you know, kind of play with, and then one for, um, you know, keeping really nice. So we'll see if I can get my hands on another one, but it was really as expensive as it was. I think I paid um with shipping and everything about 85 total so um still pretty expensive but much better than the uh three to a thousand dollars that the 90s ones go for um so yeah so thank you so much for watching and hope to see you guys again soon bye